Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in the mission editor of DCS World and we're looking specifically at how to create helicopter and plane groups. Um, now we're not going to be looking at how to issue orders to them, how to tell them to go on routes, how to tell them to do different things. We're going to cover that in a different video. This is purely looking at how to place and create them because there's enough content just in there to make a video basically. Uh, helicopters and planes are simple but we will show the difference so we'll start off with plane here and the first thing we're going to do is create a group remember everything in DCS is created around groups groups of aircraft groups of ground vehicles groups of ships within each group so they're contained units each unit is the actual aircraft okay um, well the, the, the easiest circumstance is to create an AI controlled aircraft uh, we'll create them in the air first of all so we've clicked on this here we can either choose the settings first and then click on the screen or vice versa I like to click on the screen first so I'm going to click ping there there I've created my guy I'm going to um, name his group here always name the groups because when you you will be referring to them later when it comes to using the logic uh, uh, trigger system uh, TACAN systems ILS systems stuff like that so it's always good to name them so this guy's going to be a baddie spelt funny <laughs> baddie um, his uh, condition is going to be 100%. He, his country, because he's a baddie, he's going to be the USAF aggressors. His task, and it's important we get this right here because his how he works and what aircraft you can choose and what loadouts you can choose depend on having the correct things set here. Um, and because we're not actually issuing orders, it's not actually going to matter in this case. So we're just going to say nothing how many units do we want within this group um, I just want one at the moment if we want more than one unit then always wait till the end of the unit creation before you add more units and that should become uh, evident why soon uh, they're gonna be uh, cap what can we have here a couple of F-15s let's say choose their AI these are AI controlled they're not human so we're gonna choose their skill average good high excellent or random excellent as ever we can choose the individual units within each group we can choose their pilot uh, names here um, usually I don't change that but it could be you may want to choose them here if you want to refer to them later in the trigger logic system or for some other reason various other stuff here tail um, uh, contactable on radio via uh, what megahertz AM a call sign and so on uh, do we want it hidden on the map we can hide it on the map if we like if you out of interest hide it on the map by accident I do that all the time and you want to get it back click on this objects here unit list and click on hidden double click and back he comes okay get rid of that do you want later activation if so that unit whether human or AI driven will not be available it will not exist at the beginning of the mission it will only exist when the logic system tells it to via a, a an activate unit call action okay so we want it to activate from the very start so we're going to keep it non late activation oops here we have some tabs of interest um, now the first tab here is our route it allows us to set waypoints to control various things now we're not looking at that today but um, we can say at this point as on his initial waypoint waypoint zero we can change his altitude his starting altitude and his starting speed I want him to start at 16,000 feet ASL and have a speed of 330 knots GS okay and that's all I really want to show there here's where you do your um, advanced waypoint actions to give extra orders again not covered in this video next we can go to the payload of the aircraft we can make our own payload uh, by essentially uh, we can right click and change the various things here and we can create our own guy here we have abilities to new copy delete rename export but I'm going to choose a preloaded one and that one there will be absolutely fine Okay, uh, we've also got other stuff we can change here within the payload internal fuel as a percentage and pounds. And we've got here telling us what is our current poundage, which is 50,000 and our maximum poundage is there. How many chaff we have, how many flares we have, how much gamma ammo we have, and what livery we want to have. Okay, we've got this guy here. Triggered actions is something I've never used, so I'm not going to go over that. And a summary. Um, a summary of the start when the route starts for this aircraft when the, the how long the route is going to take we haven't issued it a route waypoint so it's zero basically the route length average airspeed over that route and the range covered by that route all zero 
uh, in this case okay so that's that so we're just going to skip back and if we want to create more than one of these f15s in this group now's the time to do it because we've set the payload up and whatnot if we created more than one in the group to begin with before setting it up we'd have to go and set each one up individually and that's a pain in the butt so what we're going to do now is say we want two of them in fact let's just make four of them and we can choose number three or four here we can go to the payload and we can see it's already got its uh, its armament set up and so on okay so that's our group we're not going to give it any direction or any orders because that's uh, we don't want to do that today uh, next we're going to create an ai group and it's going to be based on the ground so i'm going to click uh, plane group i'm going to click somewhere near this base here okay so turning point um i sh i uh, got to show this here but turning point is the starting addition does it want to be a turning point which basically means it starts airborne does it want to fly over a point uh, actually i can't remember what that's called, what that does sorry uh, but i believe it's airborne start again does it want to take off from a one runway uh, so that means when the mission starts or this unit becomes activated it starts on the runway does it want to start from a ramp with its engine on and hot started does it want to start sorry does it want to start from a ramp cold does it want to start from the parking the ramp again basically uh, hot started or does it want to be landing in which case when that aircraft became available uh, activated or the mission starts then it's on the it's on the approach so in this case we want this guy cold started on the ramp so we can do that there and we can see that he's now on the ramp everything else remains the same that we've looked at down here so we're not going to go over that uh, what we can do is a little bit of extra information here. We've got parking slots along this base. Uh, you can see 25, 24, 23, and so on. Well, I want him um, in this one here, 26. So I can go parking place here, 26, and now that's where he starts. He'll start in the correct orientation facing that way. You don't need to tell him uh, which orientation to face. Okay, that's that. Um, and I want to create another AI one there i want him on parking number uh sorry i want him on um i want him parking hot so it's hot started ready to go and i want him on number 27 parking and that's all i care about for that as far as we're going today okay so that's that next we're going to start issuing um some planes for human use so these are all ai they're not for human use now we're going to issue some planes for human use. So I want one to be on the ground here next to the AI guys. Ping. Um, I'm going to actually make this a good guy. I'm going to make it a coalition of USA. I'm going to make it Caps plane. And everything's the same as we've talked about, except for skill level changes. We get two options, player or client. If, we, if this was going to be a one-player mission only, where the player only gets to choose one aircraft, he doesn't get to choose more than one aircraft, then we would use the player here. If it is a single-player or a multiplayer mission where the player is allowed to choose different aircraft, then we would use a client. So in this case, we're going to use a client. And we can have multiple aircraft, pretty much as many as you like, set as clients. And that means that the player will be able to choose between which aircraft they take on their multiplayer or single-player mission. So we're going to make it single, uh, sorry, client. Don't want to, I could uh, give it a unit name of Caps Plane as well. It doesn't really matter for this. All the stuff we've talked about before. Okay, I want it to be available at the beginning. I want him to start on the ground hot because as you know I don't like doing cold starts. And I'm going to put it as parking number 28. So that is a human choosable plane choosable via or, or on the single player version of this or if used on multiplayer and let's choose one more another plane here this is going to be a client based one as well uh, we're going to put it on the runway we're going to make it uh, another uh, we'll make it something different f5 we're going to make it client so it's selectable via human we're going to put it on a landing so it automatically uh, appear on the landing approach when he or she gets in that aircraft i don't want to add any parking because it's in the air and i think that's all i want that would be that aircraft essentially set up and ready for use by a human again with these human planes you can go into all the same stuff as we showed with the AI. you can go and set the payload triggered actions summary in fact we've got some more ones here 
uh, for the human players. We should probably blast through quickly. Let's have a quick look. Additional properties for the aircraft. This will vary between each aircraft. They all have different types of properties. So for instance, for this aircraft here, we could change the laser, laser codes, the rate of fires, the chaff salvo counts, and stuff like that in the mission editor here if you want. And that will be different options to what you get on other planes, okay? Uh, radio presets, so uh, we could obviously go and change these uh, static radio presets for the different radios and again which ranges these, these will be in, which how many radios they use, how many presets you get will depend on which aircraft we're looking at. Uh, failures, I've never tried this, uh, presumably to do with random failures, um, I'm not going to go through that. Summary, we looked at, it's all zero because we've got no predicted route or no assigned route. Uh, Shrugged actions, not going to look at that. Payloads, we've already looked at. Okay, so that's our human there set on landing. Um, out of interest, if it's a Harrier, let's put him there for now. AV8B, where am I going to find that? There. And it's a human client. Um, we can actually have him, some extra options. We can take off from the ground, hot or cold. So if I made him take off from the ground hot here, got rid of that, I could make him take off from wherever I wanted. Uh, I could inconveniently place him right in the middle of the taxiway there. A human would get in that plane, it would be hot started, and he would be ready to take off and go, basically. That's the plane, so the only other thing is to look at the helicopters. Um, again, we're just looking at the creation of it. Um, and all I guess I really want to show is, similar to the Harrier, if we placed here one for c human use, exactly the same, we could offer it a group name, and a pilot name, uh, we could have a quantity up to four again. We can choose the uh, the type, uh, sorry, the coalition, the task that is to do. So we're gonna set that as human use for client. Uh, all the same stuff here as before. Um, actually, so let's make it something flyable. So let's make it a KA-50, very nice aircraft. Uh, let's make its type here. Uh, we've got, like the Harrier, all the usual options where we can choose parking spaces and whatnot and we can also take off from the ground hot or cold like the Harrier so we could go take off from ground and then we could move that wherever we, whoops we could move that wherever we wanted over there and with this type of aircraft we'll have certain options set as well or we're not going to get any additional options by the looks of it we'll have a look at what it's got just out of interest radio freaks it's got two radios and we can change this amount of Frequencies within whatever range it, range it allows you to choose. Failures, navigation target. So this would be something that would be specific to this KF50 where it allows you to set certain target target points. Uh, what do we got here? INU fixed point. So some aircraft need the ability to um, uh, realign their INS system. So that would give you a point to do, do to do that. And again. It's just this aircraft that gives us this particular variant of that in here. Summary we've looked at, triggered actions, payload, it's all pretty similar stuff. And that's that. Also note that um, when we set it from park off, uh, sorry, from parking on the ground rather than a par actual parking slot, we also have ability, the ability to change the heading here. And you can actually see the graphic change associated with that. So if you're putting them in parking like this, then I'm going to want to have them adjusted the correct direction. Okay, I think that's all I want to say for this. So all I wanted to look at is just placing drivable and non-drivable units for the more complicated stuff like the AWACSs and the air-to-air refuelers and stuff like that. I've done separate videos on that. So this is just showing how when to create your mission, how to get the flyable and non-flyable uncomplicated planes created. What I'll do next is I'll go and do a video of showing how to start issuing them orders in terms of waypoints, routes, various orders, and uh, integrate that with the logic trigger system. I hope that helps and see you later.